I went to Southern Lee High School. That's and, right, uh, Southern Lee. And we played Southern Lee all the time, cuz you hear me? Where'd you go again? I played at Westover High School. My name Cam, bro. Oh, yeah. Westover, yeah. They got some yeah, dogs yeah, right yeah. there, man. Yeah, yeah. This was back in uh 08, 09, 2010, a little bit. Uh Coach Stackhouse, right? Coach Stackhouse, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You remember CJ Ford? Yeah, I remember him. He was tough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Cam, Cam Smith. Okay. Yeah, I believe I uh I was at the game. I can't remember the year it was when y'all played up at Southern League because I talked to uh Coach Stackhouse after the game. Coach Stackhouse. It might have been, I don't know, I don't remember the year. I have to ask my dad because he was there with me. <laughs> hey, hey, we was all there, bro. We was yeah. all there. I got crazy. some dogs that way, man. Oh yeah, man. Two six tap in, man. Big uh oh, yeah. big Fayetteville. For sure. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Hey, tap in, tap in. Let me know when we live, baby. All right. We good? All right. This is Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag C11 Studios. Akeem Rich, man. Let's give it up for Akeem one time. All right. I'm talking about the second leading scorer in North Carolina history. You hear me? All right. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Hey, I got my co-host with me tonight, the official Lil Payne, fresh out of D.C. All right, my other coach behind us, uh, OTM Uptown, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Akeem Richmond, let us know where you're from and what area code you're repping, dog. Uh, I'm representing that 919 uh, from Sanford, North Carolina. We in the building. There you go, <laughs> there you go. Sanford in the building, 919. Get yes, heard sir. first, man. All right, now growing up as a kid, what made you start playing ball, the King? Uh, well, I had an older brother. Uh, my dad used to train with him, and I would mm -hmm. just be the little baby boy running around, uh, mm -hmm. gathering their rebounds, trying to get up shots, and you know, you know how it go. They kicking me off the court and stuff like that. So, uh, right. watching my older brother, and then just going to college games as a kid, like. That was motivation for me. You know, I was the ball boy for uh, UNC. What years mm. was that? I think it was like 2000 through 2005. And just seeing that atmosphere, I'm like, man, I want to play college hoops one day. So that's right. Man, that's I right. Started. Man, that's a blessing, man. That's what it do, man. And uh, for the viewers and fans who don't know, let us know again, what high school did you end up playing at, Akeem? I played at Southern Lee High School from mm -hmm. 2005 through uh, 2009 in Sanford. Oh, Wow, wow, wow. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So you spent uh, your whole freshman and senior year there? Yeah, uh-huh. I was thinking about leaving, but I had yeah. a lot of good friends, and I'm like, nah, I'm just going to stick it out. You know, I'm yeah. kind of like Dame Lillard. Don't never want to go nowhere. Don't want to exactly. leave the team. <laughs> exactly. It's something about that hometown, man, that keep you there. That's you fact. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and, and speaking of hometowns, man, let us know how it was growing up in uh, uh, Lee County. Ah, uh, it was tough, man. Uh, a lot of violence, okay. a lot of crime, but uh, mm -hmm. you got to find you something and stick with it. You got to find you a sport or whatever it's going to be and just try to stay yeah, focused yeah. on that. And it's kind of difficult because we're not as big as other cities like Raleigh, Greensboro, you know what I'm saying, Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. So you really mm -hmm. got to go out there and hustle 10 times mm -hmm. harder than other cities. But it was pretty That's cool. Right. Though. That's right. Now, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay, I got my co-host with me, the official Lil Payne. Man, you got any questions for uh, Big King? Yeah, man, I got a question for you. Uh, so, right. uh, who, who, who you looked up to? Like, uh, like I know there's a lot of NBA players out here that you watch, but uh, who, who can you match your game with? Good question. Right now? Yeah. Uh, I seen you. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Steph Curry, of course. Uh, I love Damian uh, Lillard. Okay. And I'm older than a few of these guys, but I'll still name them. Uh, Trey Young, I really love his game. Yeah, you go. There you go. Nice and boy. Zach Levine, he's my favorite NBA player. Like, he has no weaknesses. <laughs> he has a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Akeem, would you consider yourself more of a slasher shooting guard? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, like a combo type guard. Yeah. The combo type guard. That's right. Like you said, Damian Lillard. Yeah. See, those right, guys right. are not traditional, like, CP3 type point guards. So Yeah, right. right. Yeah, how I um, match up with them as far as my game and stuff. 
And you know what? I seen your game because you you would come across that corner like Steph would get that oh, ball. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you had some range too. I appreciate yeah. that, man. Yeah, you definitely that. let that motherfucker fly. Yeah, got to, man. Yeah. That come with hard work, man. You gotta have that confidence and that mindset to just step on yeah. the floor and be like, I work on this, so shit, I'm yep. gonna let it ride. <laughs> All right, tap in. Best podcast in the Carolinas at King Richmond. Let us know for the viewers and fans. How old are you now, King? I'm 31. Old head. Wow, big 31. <laughs> He's an old old head. Head. Come on now. Old head. Come on now. <laughs> hey, what are you doing right now? Like, are you still do you do you want to pursue basketball still? Like, what's going on? You still young. Well, 31 is young. Yeah, for the past three or four years, I've uh had my own basketball shooting company where I tra train all throughout North Carolina. Uh, there you go. Just, That's just it. teaching athletes the art of shooting the basketball. So I may yep. be in Fayetteville one day. I have clients uh, in Raleigh, Spring Lake, all over. Yeah. And just giving hey, back. Hey, you know, yeah. just like that. hey, there you go, King. Let us know what that brand is called, man, that uh, company you uh, got going on. The official shot doc. Mm. So I'm the shooting doc. The official shot doc. All right, for uh, yeah. all y'all uh, young hoopers out there, man, tap in, man. The official shot doc. Yeah. All right. Um, I can give you the Instagram name if you if you like. Go ahead, King. Okay. It's it's the T H E E official O F F I C I A L underscore shot S H O T D O C C one. Say it again, D H. The official underscore shot doc one. The official underscore. Yeah, the, uh, the E has two E's. So when you start it off, D T H E E. Okay. Got it. Official. Got it. Bet. Bet. Yep. Hey, good stuff, man. Hey, so you staying busy, my boy. Oh, yeah. Got to, man. Got to. And, uh, but not I only is you staying busy, yeah, not only is you I'm staying busy. You staying with something that you love doing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's yeah. what I was about to say. Like, for me, it was important to try to stay around the game and give out knowledge that I didn't have as a kid because, to be honest, I was just getting it off the muscle. I didn't know what I was doing. You know right. what I'm saying? My dad, he was training me, but he didn't know much. He was just going off what he thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fast, fast. Well, he just been going off what he been taught. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And some, and some coaches and uh trainers like that don't understand that the game changes. Yeah, it you does. See what I'm mm -hmm. And you got to be able to train. The game back in 2016, it's not even the same as 2022 now. Exactly. And then you, exactly. And go back to 2010, it wasn't the same as 2016. So it's right. involved like constantly, you know what I'm saying? Constantly, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, what grade was it when you started to receive those college letters, man? I received my first college letter in eighth grade. It was wow. from uh, Arkansas University and then Georgetown University. Come on, but they was King, just, that's OJ yeah, Mayo. What? Facts. It wasn't. It wasn't an offer or anything, but they was just uh, interested. The interest, yeah. Right, 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 right. That's OJ Mayo status. Damn. Yeah, for sure, Come man. On. And uh, a lot of people. Good. Hold on, give me a time. That's eighth grade. That's an eighth grade. Okay, y'all hear this? That's a different place where you go to the top five. I appreciate that. But to be honest, oh, yeah. like I was going to all the camps and all those other kids, like they already had offers in seventh and eighth grade, bro. Mm -hmm. so wow. I, I, like I was behind. You know what I'm saying? But Akeem, you know what it? That's how it was in 08 and 07. Like, players mm -hmm. was, like, really like that, and they was getting uh interest at sixth grade, seventh grade, bro. You see what I'm yeah, saying? It was, it was, it different. was different then. Like, like because mm -hmm. I think it's, it, it wasn't as much social media. So Right. Yeah, it wasn't. Right. All we had was MySpace. <laughs> MySpace and Bebo. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, no, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But you didn't have so much, so the kids uh, uh, resorted to going outside, being recreational, whether it was uh, sports or gangbang. Right, that's facts, yeah. man. Like times yeah. were different back right then, so that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, hey, tell us what it meant for you to play at such a high level, especially growing up in the area of basketball where it was worshipped a lot differently, man. 
man, I love being from the hoop state. You know what I'm saying? We go to right. other states. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have something to be proud of. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. Uh, like you said, coming from that class of 08, 09, mm-hmm. like we had some dogs. So when I showed hey, up, was what a, class was it? Who who was in 08? It was OJ Mayo. Oh, well, I, I was in 09, but okay. What you say, 08? Yeah, yeah. So 09, excuse me yeah, for was, interrupting you, but 09, that was Seth Curry, right? No, uh, Seth was 08. 09 08. was me, John Wall, Ryan yeah. Kelly, mm-hmm. uh, and a couple of others. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Hey, yeah, Hip Hop Mag, he got a question for you. What you got, Hip? Uh, All right. Who was your toughest player to guard? Man, the toughest player I ever guarded and one of the mm-hmm. toughest players I've ever seen is JT Terrell. JT like, Terrell. And we oh, just man. interviewed him three months ago. I still tell him this to this day, like, bro, you one of the toughest I've ever seen. I literally yeah. just messaged yeah. him like uh probably about four months ago. I was just randomly thinking, I was like, bro, you one of the toughest I done ever seen. That's he was respect, like, uh, I appreciate that. And he told me I was yeah. one of the best shooters he ever seen. So it's a mutual respect, you know what I'm saying? Big Hell respects, yeah. man. Keem Richmond, JT Terrell. Yeah, tap yeah. in, man. You heard yeah. that's uh that's North Carolina legends for you right there. See yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. appreciate the love. Yeah, you already know, man. So, what do you think has changed uh, in the game since the uh, 27? Well, uh, well, I'll say 20 years you've been living, man. What you think's changed? Uh, oh, well, when I was, yeah, when I was playing, you know, what I'm saying you had the centers on the block posting up, uh, getting mm-hmm. dunks and jump mm-hmm. hooks and stuff. But now the centers, they shoot in the tray balls better exactly. than some of the two cars. <laughs> yeah, Joker, Joker. Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty yeah. much uh, what's changed. Uh, I think John Wall changed the dynamic as far as being a tall point guard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Back in the day, you didn't really see tall point guards until you seen, like, John Wall. Of course, you had Magic mm-hmm. Johnson, but he was, like, the only tall point guard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. John Wall started something a little differently, you know what I'm saying? Being 6'4 and get moved the way right. he can. Yep. And I and I and I feel like John Wall was the most exciting point guard we ever seen in North Carolina. Oh yeah. By far, yeah. of course. <laughs> Come on. Man. Dude's fast, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, yeah, with ease. All right. Tap in, man. Sports Brothers Media. I am hip hop mag. Hey, name your favorite player again, man. You said Trey Young, right? Uh, my absolute favorite player is Zach there Levine. You go. But I love watching Trey Young, uh, Steph Curry, and uh, Dame Lillard. Of course, LeBron James, but I try to say something outside the box. You know what I'm saying? Is that everybody yeah. gonna say LeBron? Hey, gotta be different. Gotta be different. Not me. Thanks. What was your best game, McCain? Damn, that's a tough question, man. I'd have had a <laughs> lot of good games. Um, facts, facts. That is tough. I think I, I, think I would say, like, at the Glasgow, we played against Reggie Bullock and them, and I had 30 in the first half. Boy, listen, I feel like, really, you came up with me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm only 28. I remember yeah. me and my man right here, Tease, uh, when we was at West Oak, we played against Kingston, and uh, Reggie was there at the time. Mm-hmm. He's been shooting threes from half court, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was so – it was legendary. You see what I'm saying? It was different, bro. Yeah, that's a game that stand out to me, man. So yes, I had a squad too. To be honest, hey, and I can tell you this: I can attest to y'all right now. I'm thankful that I played against Reggie Bullock. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, of course. What? Yeah, he was nice. <laughs> he was player, man, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingston's finest. All right, tap in. All right, hey. Let us know how was that recruiting process as far as Rhode Island, you know, getting you, and then ultimately you transferring to USC, right? Uh, yeah, to uh, ECU. Oh, that's yeah. right, ECU. My bad, my bad. Um, it was cool, man. Uh, I love okay, Rhode Island, but I just had, I had a lot going on with the family. You know, what I'm saying I was homesick, and uh, mm. I just needed something new. You feel me? So I'm like, man, I'm going back home. 
Yeah. And I had a couple of visits set up. I was supposed to go to uh, UGA, mm -hmm. and then I was supposed to go to ECU and then NC State after. But I love ECU so much, and they broke down film. I'm like, I could really see myself here. I didn't yeah. even go to NC State after I uh, committed on the spot. Wow, that's crazy. And I that's called crazy. NC State and let them know that I wasn't going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, visit their campus. Yeah, 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 yeah. ECU, uh, they caught you by surprise. What'd you yep. say? You went out a little bit. What'd you say? I said ECU, they had caught you by surprise. Yeah, they did because I had never really been to Greenville like that, man. They started showing me the apartments, the pools, right? The pool parties and the, Yeah, yeah, because yeah, ECU's a party school. Yeah, yeah. the facilities, man. I was like, yeah, this where this, this is something, you know what I'm saying? This is where I need to be. Something and that then, I And then you know what, Akeem? Like, I really commend you, bro, because you went to a party school still staying focused. And you was oh, the yeah. uh, all-time leading scorer there, man. For like, sure, bro. Like, yeah, like sure. everybody was out partying, bro. Like, I ain't going to say I won't partying, but I was getting right. my work in first. I show up to the party late, but I got to get these shots up. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, How many shots did you take a day? How many shots you take a day, King? <laughs> I, I had got on some Kobe type shit, bro. Like I know he was about to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so before practice, I get up like 300 shots. After practice, I get up another 300 shots. Before mm. games, I would get up maybe 400 shots. 400 makes, I'm sorry. So the game would be at 7. Everybody else would go back to the crib, you know what I'm saying, sleep or whatever. And I'm in the gym at 3 p.m. getting up shots. With so when they arrive to the arena, I'm already there drenched in sweat. So during the games, it's just coming easy, bro. Akeem, my yeah. boy, you the bad that's man. A, that's, 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 that's my nigga. That's that mama shit. That's right my there, dog, bro. Hey, Akeem, yeah, bro. bro. Okay, North Carolina legend, man. That's Tap that's in. Okay. Hey, Akeem, tell us what ended up happen happening after you made it to the G League. Okay, so I played my first year with the Houston Rockets G League team. Uh, okay, so that's in Houston. Yeah, so they bought me back the second year. And I'm going to be real, bro. It was a tough process, like, because it, it don't have anything to do with your talent. It's all about, like, okay, so, for example, we had a showcase in, what was that, Santa Cruz, out there where Steph Curry them stayed. Out yeah, in the yeah, yeah, on the west side. Yeah, yeah on the west side. So mm -hmm. they have a, a NBA showcase where all the NBA scouts will show up and it only lasts for like two or three days. So you play your whole entire G League like season based off, OK, I'm getting in front of these scouts and show them what I got. Right, right. So two, two days before I go to the showcase, I think it was like I don't I don't know the terminology, but the NBA is like, OK, it was the NBA like deadline. For like the final mm -hmm. rosters or something like that. So yeah, make a long yeah. story short, we ended up picking up six NBA players, bro. Like legit NBA players, like uh Teray Murray. I don't know if you know him. Okay, uh, Chris Johnson. He guarded Kobe Bryant in his very last game. You can look him I up. Remember Chris Johnson. Clint Capella, Isaiah Cannon, yeah. Glenn Isaiah Rice Cannon. Jr. Yeah, yeah. Shout so, out to Isaiah Cannon. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So uh, they picked all of them up and then just being real, like it was no playing time available. So I was kind of upset about that. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you worked your whole entire G League career just to get to that. And then it's like, I didn't play none. You know politics, what I'm saying? Man. Politics. Yeah. Over politics. It. So you I run into it. a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. But I ended up playing three years. Uh, mm -hmm. I also played the Kings G League team, which was really – a cool experience because I played with John Stockton's son, David mm. Stockton. was a past first point guard. Eric Green, you remember him from V Tech? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah v -Tech. Him and Ricky Lito. So we had a squad and we ended up winning like the Western Conference Championship. You know what I'm saying? So, what? yeah, it was that's a cool good. experience, bro. Hey, that's good. That's good. See, that's what they get. Did you play in the NBA summer league? No, nah, he played in the summer yeah, league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I was supposed to. I was supposed oh. to. I had an okay. uh, ankle injury, though. Yeah, yeah I was nah, supposed, nah. 
supposed to run with Minnesota Timberwolves before the Rockets had signed me, though. Okay, okay. Mm, yeah. Hey, that's what it do. Yep. Okay. A King Richmond in the building, yeah. Sports Betters Media, man. Tell us, man, what you have planned for the future and what advice can you give to the uh, young ballers coming up, man? Uh, for the future, just trying to stay around the game, give back, you know what I'm saying, knowledge that I didn't have. Uh, mm -hmm. For the future ballers mm -hmm. coming up, just stay focused, stay in the gym. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to show up to the basketball games and start making shots like the shit start in practice. So yeah. be the first one there and be the last one to leave. Don't be the, you know what I'm saying, after y'all break it down with the coaches mm -hmm. or whatever, don't yeah. run and get dressed. Go ahead and get exactly. some extra work in. And that's with exactly. anything, bro. Like, uh, if you want to be a baseball player, you want to get a scholarship for, you know what I'm saying, whatever it may be, you got to put yeah. that extra work in. Don't be average. You feel me? Exactly. Hey, Keem, if you can go back and change anything as far as basketball, would you go back and change something, man? I'm going to keep it G. I wouldn't, bro. Like, a no lot question. of people ask me that. Like, yeah. it's not one thing that I would change because – Mm -hmm. I actually put in the work, and that was something that I told myself, like, when I'm done playing, I don't want to be one of those guys like, damn, I could have did this. You know what I'm saying? I could have did right. that. Exactly. Like, no, exactly. Leave it all on the floor right here, right now. Hey, you feel me? hey and Strong listen, man, you're talking about the, the, the second highest scoring player in North Carolina history. You done made your dream happen. Yeah. See what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Real talk. Appreciate Shit. that. You already know. You already know, Okay. Hey, favorite uh, team in the NBA right now, man? Who your favorite team? Ah, uh, man, it was. I'm a, I'm ashamed to even say it was the Lakers, man. Damn, hey, 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 hey. hey. It'd be like that. <laughs> That's a tough year, bro. With, it uh, is, man. Oh, come on, it bro. is, bro. Right, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna awesome. rock with Bron to the end, though, man. But, Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna rock with him. But when he retires, I don't, I don't even know, bro. Hey, give, give me your top five NBA players all time. There you go. Good question. All time. Uh, LeBron. Mm -hmm. That's one. Kobe, for sure. Uh, MJ. Is that three? We got two mm -hmm. more. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I think differently, man. Steph got to be up there. The stuff okay, that's all I was about to say. Come on now. Hey, that's that's gotta be up in here. We got one hey. more. I'm a roll hey, with Shaq. Man. Shaq. Hey, I just say this. Shaq. Davidson. Mm -hmm. You hear yeah. me? Who won't be that fast? Somebody gonna say, uh oh. Hey, honorary uh mention T Mac up in there too. T Mac, mm -hmm. man. North Carolina, like I said, you tap in. You hear yeah. me? <laughs> Nah, for real. Hey, I can't. Okay. What up, man? What makes you like LeBron? Everything about him. I hate when like people compare uh him to MJ, like, and they like, oh, MJ's way better. But break down the numbers, bro. Like, look at his numbers. He shoots way better than MJ. He shoots the three, mm -hmm. gets his teammates involved, rebounds, yeah, and yeah. he speaks on like stuff outside of basketball. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's right. He right. That's the reason I love LeBron. Okay, say it again, T. Ask him what LeBron's best quality. What's what's LeBron's best quality, King? On the court. On the court. Uh, well, it's kind of bittersweet. It's like a gift and a curse. Uh, how uh unselfish he is. There you go. Yeah, you know there you go. Yeah, because he's not even trying to score, but it's sometimes it's like. Boy, if you don't take the damn ball to the basket yeah. and dunk it, you get that's what I be saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but like his playmaking deep. skills is like next level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, facts. That's facts. That's how he passed that ball. Hey, what was your favorite move when you was playing, dog? Favorite move? Oh yeah, I got that step back, uh, like Harden. That's my that's go. my signature to go to. I just ain't left handed like him, but step back for sure. There you go. There you go. Hey. Favorite vacation spot, man. Where you want to go to that you haven't been? Uh, probably Hawaii. I done been pretty much everywhere, but Hawaii's uh really on my bucket list. Okay, so I said Hawaii, too. Honolulu. Yeah, Honolulu. Yeah, that's exactly right. where I want to. Go. Okay. Hey, favorite artist in uh 2022? Man, bro, I'm old school. 
I don't listen to none of these new dudes. I mean, of course, I uh, I mean, when I hear it, I'm like, okay, this fire, but I don't really listen to it. Shout out to the baby. Uh, there you go. Okay, Charlotte I'm, in the building. Yeah, for sure. NC, mm -hmm. tap in, man. You already know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still stuck on that Lil Wayne, bro, that old Lil Wayne. Come on, education, all that, bro. Come on, bro. I swear for the good Lord. I love Wayne. That's my dog, boy. Facts. Facts. Okay. Hey, say it again, T. Best G League player you played against. Who's the best G League player you played against? Wow. Man, it was so many dogs in the G League. Um, uh, yeah, I know it. I know it. I like I like Isaiah Cannon. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Green. Okay. Uh, I like the kid Andre Ingram. We played against him. The uh, guy from the Lakers, the old head that was knocking all the threes down. Yeah. He, he used to torch us every single time, bro. He'll go something like eight for ten every single time. Yeah, that's cold blood. Come on now. Yeah. Dude was good, bro. Oh, yeah, all good. right. King Richmond. All right. Good. Say it again. Straight to G League or college for one year? Straight to G League or college for one year, King? Oh, man, that's a good question. Uh, that's something else that's changed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. They giving out that bread in the G League. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, it depends, yeah. man. It depends. Like, if they tell me I'm going to be, like, maybe top 15 pick, I'm going yeah. to the G League. But if it's up in the air, I'm going to go yeah. ahead to college and work on my game, you know what I'm saying? Because you be there out you of a go. scholarship. And a degree and go. all that. You feel me? There you go. Man. Get that college experience and get something else outside of basketball. Right. Exactly. Because if you go to the G League, it's like, okay, the G League going to always be there. You feel me? Right. Always. Always. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. See? See? And I like your way of thinking. He's yeah, thinking that's different. Good, bro. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Man. The King Richmond. Hey. Hold on. Let us know where we can find you at on all platforms. The King, my bad. Bro, you can find me on uh the official shot doc underscore one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, hey, anywhere Facebook. else? Facebook. Richmond. Yeah. Just a King Richmond on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it, boy. Hey, a King Richmond. Hey. Hey, who you think will be the first pick in the draft? There you go. Uh I like the kid from Gonzaga. Like a lot of people don't like him, but I can see him being like a uh Kevin Durant type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You talking about Tim? You talking about uh, uh Chet. big boy Tim? Chet. 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 Yeah, Chet. Chet. I think that's his okay. name. Okay, 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 okay. Them boys good, man. <laughs> man they always go home, though. Tap in. Okay. All right, my boy. Let me hold on. He faded a little bit. There you go. There you go. All right, yeah. man. Hey, we appreciate you having us, man. Well, we appreciate Bro, us having you. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, even wanting to interview me. You feel me? It's man, all love. But I really oh, appreciate man. that. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah. Boy, I, hey, I like what y'all got going on, man. That's dope, bro. Salute to all of y'all. You feel me? Hey, man, man. That's it, bro. Thank you, bro. That's for real, dog. That's for real, bro. Hey, we do this for Carolina, man. Rappers and athletes, my yep. dog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, salute okay. to y'all, man. Y'all keep up the great work. And uh, yeah, just keep doing y'all thing, man. I I respect it for sure. Let's get it, baby. Sports Brothers Media. I am Hip Hop Mag, Akeem Richmond, Southern Lee, baby. Let's get it. Hey, yeah, boy. Yes, sir. All right, boy. Yes, sir. Get it, boy. Hey, man, I appreciate you, bro. I'm gonna hit you on the book, man. All right, that's a bet, man. Y'all stay up, man. Keep doing y'all thing. Yeah, I, I know. Appreciate you, dog, man. A king Richmond, boy. Yes, sir. All right. Mm-hmm. That's that.